Hey everyone, Udaldror here and welcome to one of the parts of my Enderio tutorial series. In this part, we will be taking a look at the combustion generator. Now, the combustion generator is one of the ways of producing power within Enderio. And um, if you didn't know, Enderio fully supports two different power systems. It mainly supports the redstone flux system and since that is as of this moment, the more popular one, that is what Enderio is going to show for um, power values. Now it also fully supports the Minecraft dual system, so you can use that as well, no problem. And if you want uh, the in-game values to be shown as Minecraft jewels instead, you can change that in the config file. Now the combustion generator, like I said, it's one way of generating power within Enderio, and power is used for pretty much all Enderio machines like the sag mill, the alloy smelter, and all that stuff, but there are uh, other videos on those machines. Now the combustion generator will use fluid fuels, for example, rocket fuel is one, and it's going to use those and simply generate power. Now, um, as for the recipe, it's um, one of the... I'm gonna say mid-game... Uh, mid uh, machines that you'll be uh, making pretty much and it's going to use two basic gears not too expensive a basic capacitor not too expensive either You're gonna need some electrical steel though, which is why I said mid game You do need some power gen up and running to get this electrical steel and uh, there are recipes on the appropriate pages uh, For these on the wiki and there will also be tutorial videos on all other wiki pages But yeah, so reservoirs electrical steel a machine chassis a basic capacitor as a basic gears that's gonna get you one combustion generator now when you place this down in the world it looks uh, a little bit like this similar to a lot of other Android machines now if we uh, just open up the interface here you're gonna see uh, a few different things first off we've got these two tanks right here now this tank is uh, where your fuel is gonna show this is where your coolant is gonna show yeah you do need a coolant like water and uh, I really do prefer water and uh, actually all Buildcraft compatible coolants can be used, but I really recommend you guys use water. It's so much easier to get and uh, yeah, I just recommend water, but any other coolants, if you have those, those will work as well. So fuel goes here, coolant goes here. This text up here is going to show you how much power you are currently generating. As of this moment, nothing is uh, running or anything. We don't have any fuel, any coolant. It's not going to generate anything. And this over here is the internal storage for power, which is 100,000 RF. Okay. Now, uh, these uh, buttons up here, I'm going to get to those a little later. But basically, to get this running, you have to put in a fuel and a coolant. Now... Uh, I'm going to put in this rocket fuel right here, and that is one fuel that you can use. Um, there are a whole bunch of different ones you can use, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. But this combustion generator now has one bucket of rocket fuel in it, as you can see. Now, it doesn't start up or anything like that, because we don't have a coolant. If this would start running, this would, uh, you know, overheat, but Enderio doesn't, doesn't do that. You do need a coolant, or it won't run at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put this water in. And as you can see, it turns on, the texture changes, and there you go. We're now producing 160 RF per tick. And you can see that this is pretty quickly filling up, because 100,000 RF isn't a lot when you're generating 160 RF per tick. Now, uh, these values right here basically show how much, uh, how long it takes for one millibucket of fuel to be used up and I'm going to talk about that a little more in depth right now so over here I have um, one two three four five six seven different combustion generators and all of these are full with water and uh, it's a pretty nice setup just use some reservoirs from Enderio you can look at those on the wiki as well and they will basically just generate infinite water if you put two buckets in here, it's just going to constantly fill up. And I'm pushing these, uh, this water into these um, combustion generators. It's a very simple but very nice setup. Alright, so um, like I said, you can use 
a whole bunch of different fuels and uh, the ones you can use hooch rocket fuel and fire water these are all made within ender io you can look those up on the wiki if you have buildcraft installed you can also use oil and fuel you can use forestry ethanol if you have forestry installed and if you have mine factory reloaded installed you can use biofuel now um, I have some uh, some numbers right here showing you how much power all of these will generate. Uh, basically, Hooch will give you 60 RF per tech. Rocket fuel will give you, like you just saw, 160 RF per tech. Fire water, 80 RF per tech. Oil, 30 RF per tech. Fuel, 60 RF per tech. Ethanol and biofuel, 40 RF per tech. So uh, depending on uh, your need and your uh, basically what resources you have, you can use all of these different, uh, all of these different uh, fuels. It's really pretty cool. Now I've also got some uh, some values here that's going to show you how much power you get per bucket, and uh, I'm not going to talk about that. But you have uh, basically all these values on the wiki as well. Uh, you can just take a look there. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to grab one bucket of each of these, and we're going to put them in the generators, and we're going to look at the difference in speed and efficiency. So hooch, rocket fuel, fire water, oil, fuel, ethanol, and biofuel. And this is all running now. So you can see we're producing some power here, and uh, you'll quickly notice that we're, we're basically uh, using different amounts of... Um, Fuel, uh, fuel and coolant per tick, depending on what fuels we're using. So, for example, oil is going to generate a lot more heat uh, than, uh, let's see here, uh, fire water, which will basically result in uh, a higher uh, usage of, of coolant right here. Now, um, fuel will last you very long. As you can see, it's going to take... 25 ticks for one millibucket of fuel to be used up. Now, there are 20 ticks in one second, so this will basically last you one, well, more than 1,000 seconds, and uh, about 20 minutes is, is basically what the math gives us. And uh, you can see that ethanol and biofuel will, will uh, last 12.5 minutes, oil will only last you 4 minutes, and you can already see that we're kind of lower down to 600 millibuckets in here and a fuel we're still on 900 so yeah it, it's it really does depend on uh on your need of course and uh once these uh internal power meters fills up when they fill up the machine will stop it won't generate any power if it can't store it which is very very good for uh you know saving fuel and um I won't be talking about how to store this power uh, outside of of the combustion generators in this video, but you can look up the videos on uh, energy conduits as well as the capacitor bank for more information on that. So yeah, that's the fuels you can use. Now, um, I, I did speak about these in the beginning. You've got a few different uh, features uh, over here as well. Now. Um, here I've got two tanks. I've got a tank of water right next to the combustion generator, as well as a tank of fuel also right next to the combustion generator. Uh, we have this configure I.O. button right here. And uh, what this does is you click that button and you can hold your left mouse click and just simply drag around here and you'll see ghost uh, images of the blocks adjacent to this so, uh, to this combustion generator. So, right. Sorry, I'm going to take that one more time. <laughs> blocks adjacent to this combustion generator. So we've got the tank of water on top, tank of fuel on the left, the fence behind it, uh, the marble down here, the lever right here. Uh, it really does explain itself. Now if you right click on any side, that's going to set that to pull. Now what this will do is it's going to try to pull any, in this case, fluids, because that's the only thing that this can accept. It's going to try to pull fluids from uh, tanks on that side. Now, there aren't any tanks there, so it's going to not, not going to pull anything in. But if we do that on the top, we can quickly see that it will pull in the water, empty this tank, and just store it inside here. It's very, very cool. We can do that here as well, and we're going to pull in the fuel, 
And of course that's going to start the generator up because now we've got a coolant and a fuel. So very, very cool. You can click this button right here to remove these ghost images, but you know, it's really nice to have them there to see uh, where your blocks are. We've also got this right here. We've got the redstone mode control, and you're going to see this on uh, on most Ender IO machines, actually. And uh, right now it's set to always active, meaning this will always run when it can run. And right now it has fuel and coolant, which means it can run. Now we can click this to change the mode, and we're going to do that, and it's instantly going to stop. Uh, right now it says active with signal. That means that we need a redstone signal for this generator generator to turn on. So we've got this lever right here, and as Wayla tells us, it's off. If we turn this on, that's going to start the generator up again, and we're going to continue to generate power right where we left off. Set this to active without signal, turn off the lever, that's going to start it up again. Stops, on, stops, on. It's really pretty cool. There is also a never active mode, which I'm honestly not quite sure why you'd want. I mean, it's a generator, you don't want it to never ever run, and it, if that if that's the case, it doesn't really fill its purpose. But it's there, and you can set, it, set this to whatever you want to set it to. That's about it. That's what you can do with the combustion generator. Coolants, fuel, basically a nice way of generating power within the mod. Now, I did an experiment. I filled this with water and with, uh, well, I put in one bucket of oil and that resulted in exactly 150,000 RF. I just wanted to make sure that these values were actually correct. And if we take a look over here, you'll see the one bucket of oil will in fact give you 150 K RF and that is on digit. <laughs> Very pretty cool. Uh, capacitor bank should be another video up for that uh, uh, on the wiki as well. So uh, make sure you check that out. That's about it for the combustion generator. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got Let's Plays and tutorials on other mods as well. I'd really appreciate if you'd also leave some feedback for future videos, if you liked the video. And uh, that's about it. So until the next time, take care. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.